Okay, so again we are trying to solve an unknown this time, an unknown y. Okay, and here we can see things look a little bit different. We used to have uh, something like, let's use 10 as an example, 10 of something equal to a constant number. And then it was fine, then we know that whatever was inside there was equal to arc 10 of that constant number. Okay, this time we don't have it simple like that. So all we need to do is first of all solve for our trigonometric ratio. So as if that is the thing I want to solve, not just y, I want to solve so sine of y. So I want to get sine of y on its own. That's not too difficult. Can I treat it just like it was something else, like I treat it as if it was negative 5x minus 1 equal to minus 5.997. Okay, and all I want to do is solve for x, but instead of x I just have sine y. Okay, so let's keep it as sine y. How do I get x or sine y on its own? Well, first of all, I have to get rid of this negative 1, so I add a 1 on both sides. So what do I get? I get that negative sine y is equal to, and this, if I add 1, I'll get negative 4,997. Next, I want to get sine y on its own, so I'll have to divide with this negative 5. On both sides, dividing with a negative 5 tells me that sine of y is equal to, let's see, okay, we have point, no, 4.997 with a negative, okay, divided by 5 equals negative 0 0.9994, okay, so negative 0, 0.99 94 and with that in mind we get sine this is what we wanted we wanted our trig ratio okay trig ratio equal to a constant okay that is what we want solving an unknown that's inside a trig ratio and that's not so difficult all we do now is use arc sine so arc sine of negative sorry that's not negative that should be positive because the negative and the negative cancelled. I made a mistake. I apologize. So it's positive 0 0.9994 and what do we get? Okay, so that shouldn't be, that should be positive and we use that value inside our sign. Okay, in not just our sign, our arc sign. Okay, we want to use arc sign. So arc sign and there we get 88. Okay, if we round to one decimal place that's going to be 88 degrees and that is what y must be. Okay, You can go ahead and test it. Replace that with 88 degrees and see if you actually get this on the right hand side. Good luck.